My beloved child, listen to me carefully, for I am the Lord your God, the one who formed you, the one who knew you before you were born. I have plans for you, plans to prosper you, not to harm you. I speak directly into your heart today, so open your ears and receive my words, for I am with you always. You are not here by accident. You were chosen for a purpose, a purpose that goes beyond what you see and feel in this moment. I know your struggles, your burdens, and your fears. There are moments when life weighs heavily on you, and you wonder if I am there. But hear this, I am not just near, I am with you. I go before you, I walk beside you, and I carry you when you feel weak. My plans for you are not small or insignificant. They are grand, filled with my purpose, my wisdom, and my love. I have called you by name, and I am guiding your steps even when the path seems unclear. You may ask, Lord, how can I be sure of your plans? My child, trust in my word. The Bible is my living message to you. Every page, every verse, carries my promises and instructions. Seek me in my word, and you will find the path I have set before you. Remember Jeremiah 29 verse 11 where I said, For I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. This is my promise to you. This is the truth of who I am and who you are in me. I do not promise a life without trials, but I promise that I will be your strength through them. Even in your darkest moments, I am your light. When you feel lost, I am the way. When you feel broken, I am the healer. Look to my son, Jesus Christ, who came to show you the way to me. Through him, you have the promise of eternal life. But more than that, you have the promise of abundant life here and now. I desire to see you thrive, not just in material wealth, but in love, peace, joy, and faith. This is the prosperity I offer, a heart that is full of my presence, a life that overflows with purpose. Do not measure prosperity as the world measures it. The world will tell you that wealth, status, and power define success. But I tell you this, true prosperity comes from a life surrendered to me. When you give your heart fully to me, when you allow me to work in you and through you, you will find a peace that surpasses all understanding. You will find joy even in the midst of trials, hope when circumstances seem bleak, and love that conquers all fear. This is the prosperity that I, your God, offer. Turn your heart towards me, and you will see my plans unfold in your life. I do not rush, for my timing is perfect. In moments of waiting, trust me. In moments of uncertainty, Know that I am working behind the scenes, orchestrating everything for your good. You see only a part of the picture, but I see the whole. I am shaping you, molding you, preparing you for the plans I have set in motion. So do not be afraid of what tomorrow holds, for I hold tomorrow in my hands. My plans for you are built on the foundation of my love. This love is not like human love, which can falter and fade. My love for you is eternal unchanging, and unconditional. There is nothing you can do to earn it and nothing you can do to lose it. I have loved you with an everlasting love, and with this love, I will lead you into the fullness of life. My child, let my love be the guiding force in everything you do. When you walk in love, you walk in my will. When you love others as I have loved you, you fulfill the greatest commandment. Look to my son, for he is the perfect example of love and action. Jesus came not to be served, but to serve, to lay down his life so that you might live. Through his sacrifice, you are free, free from sin, free from fear, free from anything that seeks to separate you from me. In him, you are a new creation, and with this new life comes a new purpose. You are called to be a light in the world, to reflect my love and truth in everything you do. When you face difficulties, do not let your heart be troubled. Do not let fear or doubt take root in your spirit. Instead, turn to me in prayer. I hear every word you speak, 
and even the cries of your heart that you cannot put into words. Bring your concerns, your worries, and your dreams to me. Lay them at my feet, and trust that I will provide for you. I am Jehovah Jireh, your provider, and I will meet your every need according to my riches and glory. Do not underestimate the power of prayer. When you pray, you invite me into your circumstances, and I will move in ways that go beyond your understanding. Prayer is not just a way to ask for things. It is a way to draw near to me, to align your heart with mine. In the quiet moments, when you still your soul and listen, I will speak to you. I will give you wisdom and direction, for I do not leave my children without guidance. I also call you to action. Faith without works is dead, so I ask you to take the steps I have placed before you. Trust me enough to move forward, even when the path is uncertain. As you step out in faith, I will light your way. I will open doors that no man can shut, and I will close doors that are not meant for you. Know that every closed door is a part of my plan, and every open door is an invitation to step into the destiny I have prepared for you. I am the God of new beginnings, and I make all things new. Whatever your past may hold, know that it does not define your future. I have redeemed you, and I am writing a new story for your life. Do not dwell on past mistakes or missed opportunities. Instead, focus on the present, for it is in this moment that I am working in you. My grace is sufficient for you, and my power is made perfect in your weakness. So, my beloved child, walk in the assurance of my love, my plan, and my provision. I have chosen you, not by chance, but by my divine will. You are mine, and I am yours. Together, we will walk this journey of faith. Together, we will face whatever comes your way. And through it all, remember this. I have plans to prosper you, plans to give you hope and a future. Trust in me, for I am the Lord your God, and I will never leave you nor forsake you. Go forth in faith, knowing that I am with you every step of the way. You are never alone. I am your God, your Father, and your Guide. My plans for you are good, and they will come to pass in my perfect timing. Trust in me, for I have plans to prosper you, to give you hope, and to give you a future filled with my glory. My dear child, as you move forward from this moment, know that every breath you take is held in my hands. Your journey is not without purpose, and each step you take brings you closer to the plans I have intricately woven into your life. Do not fear the unknown, for I am the God of the unknown, the one who stands outside of time, seeing the end from the beginning. Your future is safe in my hands, and though you may not understand every twist and turn, trust that my ways are higher than your ways, my thoughts are higher than your thoughts. You were made for more than just survival. I did not create you to merely exist, to walk through life aimlessly. No, my child, I made you for a life filled with purpose, for a destiny that reflects my glory. The world may tell you that you are limited by your circumstances, by your past, or by your abilities, but I, the Lord your God, tell you otherwise. In me, all things are possible. In me, you are more than a conqueror. What the world sees as limitations, I see as opportunities to reveal my power through you. There will be moments when you feel inadequate, when the tasks ahead seem too great for you to handle. But remember this, I am the strength behind your every effort. When you lean on me, your strength is renewed, your spirit is lifted, and your resolve is fortified. Do not rely on your own understanding or your own abilities. Lean into me, trust in me, and watch as I carry you through every trial and challenge. Your success is not based on your strength but on mine. And I, your God, am limitless. My Son, Jesus Christ, is the perfect example of how to live a life according to my will. He walked the earth with humility, with love, and with an unwavering devotion to me. Follow his example. In every decision, seek my will. In every moment, ask yourself, what would Jesus do? 
for in following him, you will find the narrow path that leads to life. This path is not always easy, but it is the path that leads to the fulfillment of the purpose I have set before you. I see your heart, my child. I know the desires you have, both the spoken and the unspoken. Some of these desires align perfectly with the plans I have for you, and others may need to be refined as you grow in me. Be patient with the process. Trust that as you delight yourself in me, I will shape your desires to match my perfect will. When you seek me with all your heart, you will find that your deepest desires are met, not by the things of this world, but by my presence. And as you walk with me, do not forget the importance of community. I did not create you to walk this journey of faith alone. Just as I sent my son to gather disciples around him, so too have I placed people in your life to walk with you, to encourage you, and to help you grow. Be open to the fellowship of other believers. Share your burdens with one another and carry each other's struggles in love. When two or more gather in my name, I am there with them. In community, you will find strength, wisdom, and the joy of shared faith. But also, my child, be aware of those who may lead you astray. Not everyone who speaks in my name is truly of me. Test every spirit and measure every teaching against the truth of my word. I have given you the gift of discernment, and my Holy Spirit will guide you into all truth. Be vigilant, for the enemy seeks to sow confusion and doubt, but I am not the author of confusion. I am the God of clarity, the God of truth, and in me there is no shadow of turning. Keep your eyes fixed on me, and I will guard your heart and mind. You may face opposition as you walk in my will. The world may not always understand the path you are on, and at times, you may feel isolated or misunderstood. But take heart, for I have overcome the world. In those moments when the pressure feels too great, when you feel weary, turn to me. I am your refuge and your fortress, your ever-present help in times of trouble. The storms of life may rage, but you will not be shaken, for your foundation is built on the rock, and that rock is Christ. As you continue to seek me, I will reveal more of myself to you. I will open your eyes to the wonders of my kingdom, to the depth of my love, and to the beauty of my creation. The more you know me, the more you will desire to live according to my will. Your love for me will grow, and in that love, you will find the courage to step out in faith, to take bold steps toward the destiny I have for you. There is much work to be done in this world, and I have chosen you to be a part of it. The harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. I call you to be one of those laborers, to work in my vineyard, to bring the light of my truth to those who are in darkness. You have a unique role to play, a role that no one else can fulfill. Your gifts, your experiences, your passions, they are all part of the plan I have for you. Use them for my glory. Do not hide your light under a basket. Let it shine for all to see, so that they may glorify your Father in heaven. And as you work for my kingdom, do so with a heart of gratitude. Everything you have is a gift from me. Every breath, every talent, every opportunity comes from my hand. When you live with a heart of thankfulness, you will find joy in even the smallest of tasks. You will see my hand at work in every aspect of your life, and you will be filled with peace, knowing that I am in control. My child, as you continue this journey of faith, remember that I am with you always. You are chosen, you are loved, and you are destined for greatness, not by the standards of this world, but by the standards of my kingdom. I have called you for such a time as this, Walk in faith, walk in love, and walk in the knowledge that I, the Lord your God, have plans to prosper you, plans to give you hope and a future. My child, as you continue in this moment of reflection, I urge you to keep your heart open to my guidance. There will be days ahead where you may feel uncertain or question the path I have laid before you, but know this, I am a God of promises and I am faithful to every word I have spoken. Not one of my promises will fall empty. Even in the waiting, even in the stillness, 
I am working all things together for your good. You may not see it now, but trust in my timing, for it is perfect and beyond human understanding. Remember the story of Abraham, my faithful servant. I promised him that he would be the father of many nations, yet he waited many years for the fulfillment of that promise. In the waiting, his faith grew, and I was preparing him for something greater than he could ever imagine. In the same way, I am preparing you. The waiting is not a time of inactivity, but a time of preparation. In the silence, I am working on your heart, shaping your character, and strengthening your spirit. Do not despise the waiting, for it is in these moments that you will learn to trust me more deeply. There will be times when the world's noise tries to drown out my voice. The distractions of life, the demands of daily living, and the pressure to conform to the world's standards may feel overwhelming. But my child, I call you to be still and know that I am God. In the quiet, you will hear my voice. I speak not in the chaos, but in the gentle whisper, in the quiet places of your soul. When you seek me with all your heart, you will find me. I am not far from you. I am closer than your next breath. Turn your heart toward me, and I will reveal myself to you in ways you have never known before. As you deepen your relationship with me, do not forget the importance of my word. My word is a lamp unto your feet and a light unto your path. It is your guide in this journey of faith, and it holds the truth that will sustain you through every season. When you meditate on my word, you are building your life on a foundation that cannot be shaken. The storms may come, the winds may blow, but you will stand firm because your life is anchored in my truth. Do not let a day go by without spending time in my word, for it is there that you will find the strength, wisdom, and encouragement you need. And as you grow in me, I will open your eyes to the needs of those around you. I have not called you to walk this path alone, nor to keep the blessings I have given you to yourself. I bless you so that you may be a blessing to others. Look around you. There are those who are hurting, those who are lost, and those who are in desperate need of my love. I am sending you to be my hands and feet in this world. Show them the same love, grace, and compassion that I have shown you. When you love others, you are fulfilling my commandment, and through your love, they will see me. But do not worry about what to say or how to act, for my Holy Spirit is with you. The spirit I have given you is not a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. You do not have to rely on your own strength, for I have equipped you with everything you need to carry out my will. When you open your heart to my spirit, you will be filled with boldness, with courage, and with wisdom that surpasses human understanding. You will speak words of life, words of hope, and words of truth that will draw others closer to me. There is no limit to what I can do through you when you surrender fully to me. I am the God who makes the impossible possible. I parted the Red Sea for my people. I calmed the storm with a word. And I am still the same God today. Whatever challenges you face, whatever mountains stand in your way, know that I am greater than them all. Do not be discouraged by the size of the obstacle before you, for I am the one who moves mountains. Speak to your mountains with faith, and they will be moved. Walk in the authority I have given you as my child, for you are more than a conqueror through Christ Jesus. Do not allow fear to hold you back from stepping into the fullness of what I have for you. Fear is not from me. I have given you a spirit of peace and confidence in my promises. When you feel fear creeping in, remind yourself of who I am and who you are in me. You are a child of the Most High God, and I have placed my spirit within you. There is nothing you cannot overcome when you are walking in my will. Take heart and stand firm, for I am with you always, even to the end of the age. As you continue to walk in my light, I will give you revelations that will transform your life. You will see things from my perspective, and your heart will be aligned with mine. This is not a journey of perfection, but a journey of transformation. You are being made new day by day, and though you may stumble, 
Know that I am always there to pick you up. My grace is sufficient for you, and my mercy is new every morning. Do not dwell on your mistakes or shortcomings, for I have already paid the price for them. Walk in the freedom that I have given you, and let go of the burdens of guilt and shame. You are forgiven, you are loved, and you are free. In the days ahead, I will continue to lead you into greater understanding of who I am and who you are in me. Your purpose is far greater than you can imagine, and I am unfolding it step by step. Trust in my process, trust in my timing, and trust in my love for you. I am your shepherd, and I will never lead you astray. Follow me, and you will find rest for your soul. Follow me, and you will find peace that the world cannot give. Follow me, and you will find joy that overflows, even in the midst of trials. My child, I am with you always. I will never leave you, and I will never forsake you. You are my precious creation, and I delight in you. Walk in the confidence of my love, knowing that I have plans to prosper you, to give you hope, and to give you a future that is filled with my goodness. Your journey has just begun, and the best is yet to come. Amen.